Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In the previous video, I've shown you how you can use Kind and Metal LP to test Kubernetes load balancer service. I'm actually using Metal LB to provide load balancer services for my home lab cluster, which is running on five Proximus VMs. For managing applications running on my home lab cluster, I'm using Flux CD. With Flux CD, I can store all my application configurations in a Git repository, and Flux CD is responsible for pulling this repo and then apply the changes and applications on my local cluster. If I need to make any changes to the cluster, I just need to create a pull request, and once it's merged, Flux CD is responsible for applying the changes to the cluster. Without further ado, let me just create a new cluster and show you everything from scratch. Let me open my terminal first. I'm going to create a kind cluster and install Metal LB on it. Now we have the cluster and the Metal LB set up. Let me open my blog. The first thing we need to do is to install Flux. If you check the other tutorial on YouTube, you will notice that uh, people are using Flux CRI to um, install um, Flux CD and then bootstrap a new GitHub repository to your uh, Flux installation on the cluster. I like to have a little bit more control. So what I do is I will create this Git repository first, and then I will associate this Git repository to the Flux CD installation on my cluster with a deploy key. And this key can only be used by Flux to read this repository. So there is no way I can make any changes from the cluster to the Git repository. Let me just go to the installation section. And then if you have the Flux CRI install, you can just run Flux CD install and then um, to install the artifacts. But for myself, I'm going to use Nix to generate this installed YAML file and then apply that to my cluster. Let me go back to my terminal. Okay, so I'm going to run Nix run. Uh, next packages, Flux CD install, export to, um, I'll go into temp folder instead of Flux. Right. Next, I need to make sure I'm applying these changes to my um, cluster, the new cluster. Okay, kubectl, apply, temp install. Okay. Let me clear this. Now that we have got the um, installation going on, let's check the Git repository. So this is the Git repository um, that we are going to use today. Uh, let me go back to terminal. I've already cloned this repository to my local, so I go to Flux demo. So we can see everything is here, except I've got some identity um, files already, uh, which is the deploy key. So we are going to create a deploy key um, together. So I will just copy this command. Of course, I'm going to um, remove the temp. So I'm going to override the local um, deploy key. Okay, now that we need to apply this public key to the Git repository. So let's have a look. So this is the public key. Go to settings. Um, and then go to deploy keys, add deploy keys, and I can just call it my deploy key. No problem, it's done. So the next step is to create a secret call um, demo flux off with this um, identity files. So let's just go to kubectl, create secret. So we've got um, demo flux off namespace um, flux system. Uh, the file is in local, uh, including the private key and the public key. And um, that's store. That's done. For the next step, I need to create another secret in the flux um, system namespace, which contains our H key, 
for decrypting the secrets on the Git repository. Um, let me just go back to here and then I'm going to create this secret. So we can see we've got this stops key.txt here. So let's just store it. So once that's done, we can apply the changes to the cluster. So we can do cube CDL apply. And then I'm going to apply the changes to the demo cluster and then the configuration file. Right. So next I'm going to watch the changes. And next I'm going to open another window um, with K9S. Okay, so it looks like everything is up and running. So let's take a look. So we've got our services here. Let's go in here. And we can see that the proxy has an external IP. So we can go back to our browser again. So um, here, so we can go to, for example, HTTPS, um, Grafana dot k9as so we can see I've got this set up and I can do operator so I can log into here and see the dashboards so this is all installed by flux city I can also have um, HTTPS key cloak dot lead .kas. so I go to here um, username and password. Okay, it's running. So let's go back to the terminal. We can see our ingresses. We've got um, HTTP bean route. We've got Kiko. We've got Grafana. So everything is set up for us by Flux CD. We don't need to worry about the Helm install command anymore. So if I don't need Kiko, for example, so what I can do is to um, let me open this one. We just need to move the application key clo to um, panning right and then I can do um, git at git commit um, let's say it's remove key cloak from cluster git push okay let's go back to our cluster Okay, so we can see key code was removed from my cluster with just one git commit. So essentially, I don't need to have access to my cluster. I just make a pull request. Someone need to review and um, you know approve and merge the pull request into the main. And then Flux will be pulling these changes and then apply it on my local cluster. Now we see how it works. I want to explain a little bit more about the photo structure. Let me go back to my... Uh, blog post and go to the top. Okay, so here is our folder structure. First thing first, we've got a Flux folder which has installed or YAML inside. Um, this file can be used when you don't have access to Flux CRI or you know next to generate this installed or YAML file for you know Flux CD installation. Um, the next, I've got a uh, infrastructure folder which has all the configurations for my infrastructure, which is like Server Manager, Con Gateway, and Con Ingress. Um, next, I've got a apps folder, which has some apps, right? So this is actually an old version. Um, I've got, you know, key clocks now in the apps folder. And the next one is the clusters um, folder, which has um, configuration, cluster specific configurations uh, under here. So currently I'm managing um, cluster core demos here. So essentially you can have multiple clusters um, under this folder. So you can manage multiple clusters with one single Git repository. Um, the last one is stack. So I make this folder to manage the, the stack. For example, ELK stack or Keyclo, I'm using a Postgres um, and then a Keyclo together. Uh, let me just go back to uh, VS Code to show you what it looks like. So this is the VS Code. 
we can see here I've got um, key cloak, we've got key cloak Postgres, and for the stack, I've got key cloak here and the infrastructure. So the base is Sir Manager, Con, and Prometheus. And then I've got some uh, Helm repository. So this is where the um, applications are installed from. So essentially it's using Helm for installing all these applications for me. In the same folder, I've got identity, which is the deploy key. So I make sure I don't you know, commit these keys to the Git repository as well as the soft stock key, right? Which is used to dec decrypt uh, the, the, the secrets there. Okay, that's how I use Flux CD for managing my applications on Kubernetes cluster. I've got another Git repository for my um, home lab. It just makes everything so simple for me when I need to set up a demo environment for some applications or when I need to rebuild my cluster. Flux CD take care of everything for me. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.